What's up guys, Alex here, back for a new video. Uh, in this one, we're just doing a quick demonstration of how to do uh, churchyards on Rampart. <clears throat> so really, this is the same as doing them on Castle. You're just gonna be doing them on upgraded uh, elves, and you can do these on any hero. It, it's really easy on any hero because the Grand Elves on Grass are gonna have speed eight. Uh, so you don't need stats, you don't need Ivor, uh, you can just go ahead like this. And again, we're going to be using five one stacks. The only thing is that you want one stacks that are not centaurs. Uh, so you want one stacks using this technique that are one hex and uh, also that outspeed the uh, zombies. So speed five or higher on grass and uh, one hex. And 14 Grand Elves is uh, enough to do this. So again, we wait, move here, move here, move here, move here, move here. Same as the castle start. We're gonna move to this hex, not to this one, um, because it works just a little bit better. So same as, as if we had movement speed seven, like we did with castle. So here we wait once again, uh, this uh, guy stayed in the right spot, so that's where we need. If the zombies ended up killing him, round one, then this one needs to move here. So here we just def, and then this guy moves here. All right, and again, the most important part here is to, we have a wait turn, so we get to shoot twice. We need to finish this guy with uh, two shots plus retaliation if we happen to not kill him. See, like that. So that's fine, and now this should go smoothly. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to move to this hex next to the last one, not to the last one. Again, like I said, it just works a little bit better that way. The zombie, the positioning of the zombies will be a little bit more favorable that way. And here, we're going to move not to the um, hex to to the right, but one uh, one to the left of that. So not, not to the rightmost one, but uh, to the... To the one right next to it. And then again, we move down here, third hex from the right, then this hex in between the two corpses, and now we can move to the, uh, to this hex here. So now we buy ourselves, an, our, ourselves another wait turn, and just pick off the stacks one by one, and just continue moving now. Again, not to the rightmost one, but the, the one next to it. And just remember to check the movement of the zombies so that you don't position yourself in, um, in a way that they can actually reach you. So wait here, hit this guy, he dies. Okay, again, we have a wait turn here. Again, if you happen to, <clears throat> if the zombies happen to be a little too close to you, then uh, you may not wait there. You may just buy yourself, you know, go around the circle one more time to buy yourself another uh, wait turn. But seems like this is working pretty smoothly. And actually, when there's a one stack left, you're likely gonna you're gonna be finishing them with melee. That's what you're gonna be doing. Okay, wait turn here. Might as well finish this stack. Then move here. Because you have just enough shots, so now I only have 12 shots left, which, which is just enough for two shots a piece. All right, and see here, they're a little bit too close, right? So we don't wait. We just continue. We make another circle here. All right, and here, they would hit us if we get in this hex. So we're going to go one below. All right, and now we should be back on track with the pattern. We're good. <clears throat> Again, a one stock that will finish with melee.
And here we can just finish them off. Wait, finish, finish. And that's it, guys. And as always, guys, uh, feel free to follow my Twitch stream for more English-speaking Heroes 3 content. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.